Hey everyone, Mehrnush here from Ross IELTS Academy. Today I want to talk to you about the latest IELTS speaking questions. It's always a good idea to practice different questions and topics before the test. But I know some of you might be worried about not having a wide range of vocabulary. Don't sweat it. Many candidates share the same concern when it comes to speaking. The truth is, not everyone has a massive vocabulary to talk about every familiar or unfamiliar topic. And guess what? That's totally fine. You don't need to know everything to answer the questions. What you really need are some effective strategies. So, let's get started, shall we? Today, we'll take a look at some of the latest part one I also speak in questions, and I will share my own answers with you. After that, I will explain why I responded the way I did, based on the IELTS criteria. Sounds good, right? Let's dive in and have some fun. Okay then, so here we are in the first part of IELTS speaking and the topic is about fashion. So first I read the questions and then I give my answers to them and then I analyze my answers. Here we go with the first question. How would you describe your personal style? Do you follow fashion trends? How important is fashion in your culture? How important is fashion to you? Do you think fashion trends are important? How do you keep up with the latest fashion trends? Now let's get it started with the first question again and I give my responses to them. Here we go. The question was, how would you describe your personal style? And here is my answer. I would describe my personal style as casual and comfortable. I prefer outfits that are both trendy and practical. I like to mix and match different pieces to create a unique look that reflects my personality. Overall, I believe fashion should be an expression of oneself. So here I try to describe my own style and I use some vocabulary related to fashion and style. For example, casual or comfortable clothes or style, trendy and practical clothes, a mix and match of different pieces. And I also try to just come to like to get a conclusion here in the end when I use the word overall. Now the second question, do you follow fashion trends? And here's my answer. While I appreciate fashion trends, I don't strictly follow them. I believe in having my own sense of style and varying what makes me feel confident and comfortable. However, I do enjoy staying updated on current fashion trends and incorporating elements that match with my personal taste. Here again, I have used some good vocabulary like my sense of style or my, my own sense of style I can also use to stay updated. And the word however as a very good connective. You know, you can use however instead of the word but to get a better score in your IELTS speaking. Now the third question which says, how important is fashion in your culture? And here is my answer. Fashion plays a significant role in my culture. It serves as a means of self-expression and reflects our traditions and heritage. Different regions within my culture have a distinct clothing style for specific occasions. Fashion is also an industry that contributes to the economy and cultural identity of our society. Here I have used some expressions like to play a significant role. When you want to say that something is important, you can say it plays a, an important role or a crucial or a significant role. A mean of self-expression, it means through that thing you can express yourself. I have also used the word also. So when you want to add more information, instead of repeating the word and, you can use also plus, besides, moreover. Now the next question. How important is fashion to you? Here is my answer. Although fashion is not that significant to me, I think that it is a means of identity description. 
I mean it goes beyond just clothing. It is a means of self-expression and creativity. I believe that fashion allows individuals to showcase their personality, culture, and individuality. So here, in the beginning of my answer, I wanted to show contrast, and I used the word although. I have also used showcase their personality. It means you can show your personality or identity, whatever word you want to use. The next question says, do you think fashion trends are important? And here is my answer. Fashion trends do hold importance as they shape and reflect the current styles and preferences of society. They offer a glimpse into the ever-evolving world of fashion. However, I believe that personal style and individuality should not be overshadowed by trends. Here I have used some better words, some better vocabulary like to hold importance, it means to be important. To offer a glimpse into, it means to show us. The ever evolving, it means the ever changing. To overshadow, to be overshadowed by trend. The word overshadow here means uh, to cast a shadow over something in a way that destroys its importance. And now the last question. How do you keep up with the latest fashion trends? Here is my answer. Even though I don't care much about the latest fashion trends, I think the way to keep up with it would be through the exploring fashion magazines, websites, and social media platforms dedicated to fashion. I sometimes follow fashion influencers and designers to stay informed about new collections and emerging styles. So here I have used some good vocabulary like latest fashion trends, to keep up with something, it means to be updated, fashion magazines, social media platforms, fashion influencers and designers, and to stay informed, which means to stay updated. I have also used the word even though, so it's again important to use a range of connectives in your answers. So generally speaking, it's always important in IELTS speaking to use a range of collocations and idioms if you want to get seven and more in the lexical resource criteria. You should also use a range of connectives, like do not limit yourself to and, so, but, because. Like I use some good ones here. You can always use the alternatives, like however, besides, moreover, even though, although, on one hand, on the other hand, and any connective that you can use naturally and correctly. Other than that, it's also important to use a range of complex grammatical structures because if you use a mix of simple and complex structures, you get a six. But if you use a range of complex structures, you can get seven and more in your grammar. It's also important to pay attention to the pronunciation features. I'm talking about the rhythm, the intonation, word stress, sentence stress, your pace of the speech, and what can really help you with that is our podcasts. So you can just go to our website and use our British-based podcast because they can definitely improve your listening skills, your pronunciation, and vocabulary range. Fantastic! Just as we did today, you can search for speaking questions, share your own answers, record your responses, and then listen to them. If you're interested in receiving an evaluation from our expert examiners, go ahead and book an online speaking mock test with us. Believe me, this will make a big difference. Wishing you best of luck and looking forward to seeing you very soon. Stay tuned.